nice to see you. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, so today I'm playing hide and seek with the other wizards. Oh, this is a great idea. As the Mesalap is closed, it's a perfect place to play hide and seek. Yeah. But you should be careful because 20 years ago they were playing hide and seek in the basement and they lost one of the wizards. They haven't found her yet. Oh man, that's crazy. I, I don't know that. if it's true, but it... I've heard it too, so maybe it is true. Yeah? Did you find anybody up there? No. You know, it's pretty dark in the basement here in places, so... I was trying to look with this black light, and so if anyone's wearing a white shirt or something, then that will glow under the black light or like this paper here. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Did you check the weight room already? Oh, I didn't. Good point. Yeah. No, well, maybe we should go there. And yeah. tell you, I have another black light, so if you want to take this one. I would love to help you. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Let's, let's go. go together. Yeah. yeah. Off to the weight room. Room is here. Oh, good, yeah. And that's not getting much use while the building's closed, so it's going to be a great hiding spot. Yes. Then, how does a black light work? Yeah, so certain chemicals absorb light and then they give it out again. And in fact, uh, some laundry detergents have phosphorus in them, and that makes clothes kind of glow bright in sunlight. We call that phosphorescence hmm. because it comes from phosphor originally. Yeah, but it's true. Look at my socks. Oh, wow. Yeah, Isn't that's it pretty amazing? Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's working really well. Hopefully you can find someone. Yes, let's yes. keep looking. Maybe they have white socks. Hey, I found one. I found one. Aha. Uh -huh. You got me. Who is it? Oh, let me turn the light on. Yes, I am Zeus. You wizards are amazing. How did you find me? This is because of the black light. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there something in my hair? There must be. There must be some dye in your hair that phosphoresces. Oh. Hmm. How's about that? Well, well, look at this. And your teeth too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, congratulations. Found him. Are there any more wizards left to find? Yes, you are the first one. No. <laughs> yes, oh, okay. Then let's then go I, look for some more wizards. I think I will look in the basement and why don't you go upstairs? Yeah, we'll go up to the cray. That'd be a good place oh, to hide. Good Excellent. Idea. Okay, off we go. Okay, I'm doing the basement. Okay, okay, see you later. Well, here we are at the old cray computer. I guess the black light's not going to work here because it's way too bright. So we have to find... Hmm. True story. Back in 1989, I took a tour of Cray Research in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Whoa. And they gave us and showed us proudly the new Cray YMP. Wow. This machine was loaded. It had. 256 megabytes of main memory. Wow, 256. Imagine what you could do with that. Hold on. Megabytes? Yeah, yeah. Just, my phone has 10 times more than that. Oh, that's right. Things have changed a lot, haven't they? Hmm. So, cell phone. I know. I'll bet one of the wizards has forgotten to turn off their ringer. Oh, yeah. So call the wizard hotline number and we'll be real quiet and listen so okay. we can hear anything. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingy. Ah! And car wizards, how can we help? <laughs> you got me. With technology. Oh, great. Well, I'm going to go off down these hallways and keep looking for people. All you right. guys want to team up and try and find someone else? Yeah. Sounds good. Have fun. You know, that cell phone ringer trick works only once. Yeah. So, you got any ideas? I have this carbon dioxide analyzer. Let me show it to you. Oh. Here, hold, you hold the computer. Okay. Uh, we built this to bike up and down the Mesa Lab Hill, but we've now converted it to be a backpack oh. version. So, and um, so it suck, it's going to suck in air if you turn on the pump on the back right. there. Right. Yeah, and then <laughs> the carbon dioxide concentration is going to read out right there. And because people breathe out carbon dioxide, I think we might be able to sniff out a wizard. Oh, cool. Which way do you think we should go? Let's head toward the auditorium. All right, follow me. <laughs> we got him now. 
450 parts per million. 460. Let's check in here. Okay. 650, 780, 1,000 PPM. I think we got one. Aha, oh. a wizard. Oh, man. Come thought, on out. I thought this was a great hiding spot in there. What, what were you doing in there? Well, I wasn't sure how long I was going to be in there hiding, so I brought in these Snow crispy treats that Chef Nancy made for us, but he found me too quickly, so I didn't get to have one. Oh, that's I'm going to go bad. look by the lightning exhibit and see what I can find. Good I'm idea. Gonna... See you later, Zeus. Well, unfortunately, you were uh, breathing in there. Uh, next time, you have to remember to hold your breath. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guess I got to practice that for next time. So, there are some more wizards that we need to find, and they're probably just as hungry as I am. And you know, these Snow crispy treats are a great way to lure out a wizard. Ah, yes. So, I think we should go upstairs and see if we can find any up there. All right, let's do it. Hmm. Oh, hey, here's the library, Britt. That might be a great place for a wizard to hide. What do you think? Oh, great idea. I I'm just going to read this thing about carbon dioxide first. Come on, Britt. We, got we have wizards to find. Oh, Come on. All right. No, Britt, this really is a great place to hide, and I can't believe what they've done with this library since I was last here. Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of wizardly things that's so here. cool. I, I bet there's somebody hiding around here somewhere. Yeah. We need to find the perfect spot for this. I think there's a good spot right over here. Cool. I'll bet you there's a wizard somewhere around. So we've got to find good hiding spots, but not too far away. So, hey Britt, how about you go over here okay. and I'm gonna hide right in here so I can keep an eye on the Snow crispy treats. Snow crispy rice treats. My favorite. I love these. Found you! Oh, I got you! Oh man, you got me! I've been hiding here for a long time. You must have been hungry. I was really hungry. You got me. I love these. These are my favorite. Well, I think there are some other wizards that we need to go find. So, how about we go down to the mezzanine? I think there's some good spots around there. And, hey, don't you have uh, an infrared camera? Yes, I do have an infrared sensor. Maybe that will help us find these other wizards that are hiding in this building. That sounds like fun, but I got some weird CO2 readings from the roof, so I'm going to go check that out first. All okay, right, you great. guys have fun. Good idea. Okay, Good you luck. Go. All right, come on, Jeff, let's, okay. let's go. I'm taking this for the other way. Those other wizards are right. These Rice Krispie treats are such good brain food. You know, this really is a great place for a wizard to hide, so I'm pretty sure we'll find someone here. Yeah, hey, I've got this IR camera, and it's infrared, and with it we can see heat signatures. We might be able to track down the other wizards using this infrared camera. That's such a cool way. Let's, let's see if it let's works. Let's see what we can find. Wait, look. I see footsteps. They're, they're going to the main seminar room. I bet you the wizard is curious what it looks like now that it's being renovated. Let's, Let's go find out. Right. Wow, it sure is dark in here. Do you hear music? Is your camera showing anything, Jeff? Whoa, look at that. I'm picking up a heat signature right in the middle of the main seminar room. That, that looks like a person flying and Twirling? What, what? How can how can that be? Uh, yeah, it's, she's so much it, warmer it, than the rest of the environment that the infrared camera is picking up her heat signature incredibly well. That might be, do you think that's a wizard? They're spinning around and floating in the air. Maybe it is a wizard. I've, I've never seen a flying wizard before. I'm trying to think of who we haven't found yet. It's, say, do you think that could be Christina? I think it's a wizard. I think we found one, look at that. Oh, definitely. Ha, Christina, we found you. 
Hey, Christina! Come on down, Christina. We've got you. Man, Christina, what you did in there was so cool. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing! How do you define gravity like that? How do you make wizards fly? Yeah. Well, to stay in the air, you have to balance or counteract the force of gravity. And there are a couple ways to do that. The first is you can pull yourself up using your muscles. The second is that you can wrap the fabric around your body. And when you get enough wraps, they, those wraps that create friction, then the force of the friction balances gravity and you stay in the air. That makes sense. That's so great. So I've never seen a flying wizard before, but you know, I still think there are a couple of wizards here that we haven't seen. They must have a really good hiding spot. I have an idea how we can find them. How? Do it. Yes, come in. All right, let's go. Look, there's a Kelvin Helmholtz cloud outside. It's Whoa! so cool. Well, you were the last one we found, so you're the winner. Yes! Yay! Great right. So Thank great, you. yeah, great game, everyone. So same time next week? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah! Yes! All right. Yeah. Well, let, let's head out and have some, have yeah, some did snacks. You find it? I like your hat. <laughs> I can't believe they still haven't found me.